hey guys i will be telling you about crossed and uncrossed diplopia just the mechanism like why it is crossed and uncrossed this is how our eyeballs are placed in the orbit this is right this is left side this is our nasal retina and this is temporal side of the retina first of all we will talk about exotropia we have one trick here from this x we can remember that it is crossed so i am going to tell you why it is crossed now in exotropia the eyes deviated outwards that is divergent squint so we have nasal side of the retina we have temporal side of the retina and here we have an object as we all know that fovea centralis that is macula it is slightly temporal and the maximum resolution it at fovea centralis and as it is deviated outwards the light will fall on the temporal side of the retina and temporal retina is responsible for nasal side of vision so the false image will be on the opposite side that is crossed now we will see about esotropia esotropia is uncrossed in esotropia the eye is deviated inwards so we have here is our object the light falls on the temporal retina and here as it is deviated inwards the light will be falling on nasal retina and nasal retina is responsible for temporal view temporal here we will see the false image and it is uncrossed thank you hope you understand